Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to another video in the Cumulus Cycles Raspberry Pi playlist. If you've been following along with the videos in the series, you'll notice that this video is going to be a bit different as I won't be working with a Raspberry Pi board. What I'll be doing is assembling a DIY robot smart car chassis kit, which is both Arduino and Raspberry Pi compatible. In a later video, I'll use this chassis to build an Arduino-based obstacle avoidance robotics car, which will later interact with a Raspberry Pi robotics car I'll also be building. The reason I'm recording this as a standalone video and not installing an Arduino or Raspberry Pi at this time is so that anyone who's interested in using the kit with either board can follow along on the build. Then they could watch either of the upcoming videos on building the Arduino or Raspberry Pi robot cars and use this chassis. So with that out of the way, let's open the box and get started. In the box, we immediately see two large wheels with rubber tires and plastic rims. Then there's the caster wheel, two DC motors rated for three to six volts with detached wires, a battery pack for four AA batteries, the chassis frame, and a bag of parts. So let's open the bag and see what's in there. Well, we obviously see some nuts, bolts, and standoffs. There are two black encoder discs, which are used to measure rotation of the motor shafts, supports for the motors, and a power switch. Now, with the inventory complete, we can move on to the build. I'll start by removing the protective covering from the chassis. I found using a razor knife to lift the covering from an edge of the chassis to be helpful in pulling it off. Then. I'll attach the positive and negative wires to the motors. I wanted a little more room to work with than what was provided in the kit, so I cut my own wires. You can either solder the wires to the terminals on the motors if you have a soldering iron, or just tightly twist the wires around the terminals. I added a bit of electrical tape when the wires were attached, just to keep things in place. When attaching the wires, be sure to attach them on opposite leads on each motor, so they both turn in the same direction when power is applied. Here you can see the outside wire on the top motor is positive and the outside wire on the bottom motor is negative. Follow this pattern and you'll be fine. Finally, I installed an encoder disc on each motor. Now it's time to attach the motors to the chassis and this is pretty straightforward. Just use two motor mounts, screws and nuts to attach each motor. Installing the caster wheel starts by attaching the standoffs to the chassis then the wheel to the standoffs. For the power supply, I simply cut my own wire and attached it to both terminals. Then I snapped the switch into place on the chassis. And finally, used the two flathead screws and two nuts to attach the battery pack to the chassis. Now we can move on to wiring up the circuit. Since I'll ultimately be adding an Arduino to this robot car, I've attached a mini breadboard to the chassis simply using some double-sided tape in the event I want to remove it in the future. And you can see there's plenty of room left for the Arduino or Raspberry Pi if you choose. For the wiring, I ran one wire from the power switch to a row on the breadboard, then the negative wire from the battery pack to the same row. In another row, I ran the other wire from the switch to the breadboard and the negative wires from each motor to the same row. And finally, I ran the positive wire from the battery pack to another row on the board and the positive wires from the motors to the same row. I know it looks a bit of a mess right now, but I'll come back and clean it up when I move on to the next video and add the Arduino. Now with the wiring in place and batteries installed, let's flip the power on and see if the motors turn the wheels. And there you go, the build is complete. So that concludes this video on assembling an Arduino and Raspberry Pi compatible DIY robot smart car chassis kit. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'll use this chassis to build an Arduino based obstacle avoidance robotics car, which will later interact with a Raspberry Pi robot car I'll also be building. The reason I recorded this as a standalone video and didn't install an Arduino or Pi is so that anyone who is interested in using the kit with either board can follow along on the build. Then watch either of the upcoming videos on building the Arduino and Pi robot cars using this chassis. 
and ultimately these robots will be connected with AWS IoT. I'll add a link to my AWS IoT playlist in the description below if you're interested in that. Well, I hope you found this interesting and I hope to see you soon in another Raspberry Pi video. Thanks for watching.